What is up designers, welcome to my Photoshop tutorial and today we're gonna learn how to create glow effect in Photoshop. So the method that I'm about to teach you is very very nice because you can apply it to any other photograph. You can select any object and then apply this glow effect. In this example we have chosen the shoelaces and they look pretty cool. So let me show you how the original photo looked like. So it was like this, it was pretty bland. And notice that aside from the glow effect, the image itself is kind of changed. So it looks a little bit more uh, sharp and eye-catching, whereas this one is kind of bland, even though this photograph is really nice. So I'm gonna teach you at the end of this video a little bonus trick that you can do to apply to any of your photographs to make them look even sharper and more eye-catching. So with that said, let's get straight into it and start making this glow effect. Now, you can actually download this exact photograph in the description below and try it out yourself. I highly recommend you follow along and do it because that's the best way you can learn. And yeah, let's begin. The first thing we do is create a new layer. Control or Command Shift N and I'm gonna call it Laces. So as you have guessed, we have to select the shoelaces here. So I'm going to zoom in and select my pen tool, P for shortcut. So I am using pen tool because it's the most accurate you can, right? So you can never go wrong with a pen tool if you know how to use it. A lot of people don't know how to use it and they think that it's not really helpful. But trust me, if you learn how to use it well, it's probably the best way to make any selections. Now for this, tutorial uh, we want to make a really nice effect so I want to make sure that my selection is perfect and so I'm just going over the shoelaces and making all the selections now I will not bore you too uh, much with my selection but I just want to point out uh, a little trick maybe you don't know this that you can do in order to make your pen tool experience easier. So notice that if I accidentally go over the place that I wanted to put my point on, I can actually press space and move the point around even though I haven't placed it. The way you can do that is once you click with your mouse, you do not let go and you press space. And when you press space, you are able to move that point wherever you want. So once you let go, then it's fixed, but you can also adjust it afterwards. So if you press Ctrl or Command on your keyboard, a white arrow will pop up and that means that you can individually select the points and move them around even though you have already placed them. So with that said, I'm going to make my first selection and color it with white color. Just double check your foreground color is white, press Ctrl or Command Enter and that will create a selection from all the paths you have just chosen. Once you do that, press Alt or Option and Backspace and that will color your selection with whatever foreground color you have here. So notice if I had uh, the orange here and I pressed Alt or Option Backspace, it would color it in the orange color. But we don't want that, we want the white color. So yeah, that's how you work with Pen Tool and just keep going and selecting the shoelaces. If you are struggling with it and you want me to create a video about Pen Tool and how to deal with it, let me know in the comment section below. And with that said, I'm gonna speed this up so you don't get too bored. Talk to you in a second. All right, so we finally created our selection and it is time to add the glow effect. Control or Command J to duplicate this layer. Once you do that, double click this layer and select color overlay and just select any color. Make sure that the blend mode is set to normal, otherwise the color won't show up properly. So just select any color, it really doesn't matter. I'm just gonna select the red one, press OK. Once you do that, right click this layer again and press convert to smart object. With that said, let's put this layer into a group. Control or Command G to do that. And then press this layer again and go to filter, blur, Gaussian Blur, and let's put the radius to 5. After that, let's put the blending mode of this layer to Linear Dodge. And as you can see, we have already 
got gotten some glow effect now this is going to improve massively so just keep going let's duplicate this layer again Control or command j well this time let's make the blur a little bit bigger so double click gaussian blur effect here and then put the radius to 25 press ok and that's going to increase the glow effect let's keep going Control or command j to duplicate this layer double click the gaussian blur again this time let's put 50 radius OK, Control or Command J again, Gaussian Blur double click, and 250. And one last time, Control or Command J to duplicate the layer, double click the Gaussian Blur effect and put the radius to 500. That's pretty much it. OK, so we have the group of the glow now. We can see the before and after. Now I don't really like the red color, so the easiest way to change that is go here and select the hue saturation adjustment layer then press down alt or option on your keyboard and move your mouse right in between the group layer and hue saturation layer and notice that if this little icon will pop up just left click with your mouse and that's going to create a clipping mask so whatever we do will only affect the group of the glow so now I'm going to press colorize and then you can just slide this to change the color to anything you want. Right. So this is so cool because this is instantly giving you the result. And you can also increase the saturation to give the glow a little bit more color. I really like the blue effect here. Maybe I'll stick to that one. Raise the saturation a little bit up to 80 percent or so. And yeah, with that said, I think we're good to go in terms of the shoelaces. Now what we want to do is add a little bit more color that is coming from the glow to the shoes. So the way we do that is Control or Command J to duplicate the hue saturation adjustment layer. And I'm going to just bring this down right over the background. So once I do that, I just want to paint in just certain areas. So I want to hide all the color here. So with my black color, and my layer mask selected. I'm going to press Alt or Option Backspace to color that and hide this. And then with my white foreground selected and my very, very soft brush, I'm going to set opacity to 50%. And I'm going to paint in some color right where I think the glow is affecting. So just very slightly, you can even decrease the opacity to like 25% just so it doesn't show up too much and I'm just going to go over the shoes very lightly and just a little bit over the pants. You can also add some glow to the water with maybe with 10 opacity just to bring out that color in the water reflection as well. And with that I think that looks pretty good. Now what we can do is turn down the opacity of the laces layer. So the laces are showing a little bit more uh, I'm going to put it down to about 10%. You can even turn it off. It looks good that way as well. But I'm just going to keep it at 10% opacity. And that's basically how the glowing effect goes. Uh, you can always go back here and change the color of the shoelaces. But then you would also have to go back here and change the color here as well. Just so that these colors match. But yeah, it's pretty simple and straightforward to really bring the photograph together I'm going to use the color lookup adjustment layer and I'm going to select soft warming look and then reduce the opacity down to about 20 percent and notice that before and after it doesn't really change too much but it brings the colors together so none of the colors stick out too much and the photograph looks a little bit more natural. If we compare this to the previous example, notice that this one looks a little bit sharper and more eye-catching. So this is what I was talking about when I mentioned the bonus trick. With your top layer selected, press Ctrl or Command, Alt or Option, Shift and E. I know that's a mouthful. That's basically going to merge all your layers and create a new one on top of it. So with this layer selected, press Ctrl or Command, Shift A. This is going to bring you into Camera Raw Filter. This is a very powerful filter or an area or a panel, whatever you want to call it, where you can adjust colors and, and many, many things. So first thing you want to do is start with the temperature. So depending on what colors you choose and what kind of photographs you have, you can adjust the temperature to give it even more 
intensity. Uh, I'm going to leave it at that. Then I'm going to go and add a little bit more exposure, maybe 0 0.15. I'm going to add a little bit more contrast and then highlights, reduce the shadows and then reduce the blacks and maybe boost up the whites a little bit more. Next, this is where the magic happens. So you can add a bit more texture to like 15% and then clarity to 15 as well. So notice how sharper the image became instantly. You can even go up a little more, just really depends on your taste. This to me looks a little bit too much, but it's obviously up to you. So I'm going to leave it at 15 or maybe 20. And then you can also add a little bit of vibrance just to bring out the colors a little more. And one last thing I like to do is go to the effects panel and add some grain. So this just adds a lot of grain if you want and you can just adjust the amount however you want. I'm going to add like 25 here and I'm going to press OK and this is going to generate the new photograph we have now. So notice before and after. So the before image looks so unsharp compared to the new one that it looks a little bit blurry even. But the new one is so sharp and so nice to look at that it really is worth the extra steps we went through to just give this nice look, right? So with that said, I think we covered everything we need to cover in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and learned something new. If you did, please leave a like. It really helps the channel to grow. Leave a comment if you have some ideas you want me to work on for the next videos. Subscribe to my channel if you like this content and you want to see more of it. Again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.